Hey guys, welcome to another edition of The Way I Lied. Guess what? We've changed positions just to mess with you. <laughs> welcome to, but it's messing with us. <laughs> no, I don't like it at all. But if we're just trying something new because change is good. <laughs> no, it's not. Hey, welcome to the final week of our series that we kicked off at the beginning of the month titled Fresh Start. We've talked about a few different things over the month. Week one was about perspective. Week two was about... What was it about? <laughs> Perspective and then purpose. Last week was on passion and today is on power. power. Just give me a second, I'll get there. But um, 2020 came and, got, came and went. We're, brand, we're in a brand new year. We need a fresh start and a fresh perspective. Last week we talked about passion. <laughs> Last, <laughs> passion. Last week we talked about passion, which you and I have to be passionate about one thing as Christians, our relationship with Christ and going on and moving forward. Last week we talked about how all of us have issues and problems. And this week when we talk about power, all of us deal with the same issue that's called sin. I don't know if you know this, but sin is, we were born into sin, we have sin. Sin is anything that separates you and I from God, right? Sin is this thing that, that fights through all the things that we want to do, but then we cave in and all this stuff. It's the ever, the ever ongoing battle that you and I will fight until we go and be with the Lord one day up in heaven. And which means that we need some power, which means that you and I need power to overcome this, to overcome sin, to overcome the things that tempt us and separate us from God. And you know what? I can't beat sin on my own. I've tried. <laughs> Pastor, Alex, Pastor Alex has tried. Sin cannot be defeated on my own good stance, on my own um, I keep trying harder, all this stuff. I need the power of God to come into my life to make it better. And it says in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, it says, But he said, My grace is sufficient for you. Not my grace, not Pastor Alex's grace, not Pastor Abe's grace. This is Jesus talking. He's saying that my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. See, how this works out is that sin in our life is this overwhelming sense that we have to deny and to walk to follow God. But I can't do it on my own. And in my weakness, I depend on Christ because He makes me strong to overcome by His power to overcome that of sin. Break that down. Too often, many many of us think that we have to be... I've never seen this side of his face. It's a big word. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Too often, uh, many of us think that we have to be perfect in every aspect of it, right? Too often we think that we have to actually um, come to church perfect. Otherwise, uh, we can't go walk into that building, right? Mm -hmm. Too often we think that, oh man, that pastor is perfect up there and I can never reach that. So you know what? I'm not even going to try. Mm -hmm. But in reality, that's not how... Life works is not how we work. We, we all struggle. Yeah. We have sin yep. in our lives. I mean, in fact, Paul, what, the, one of the apostles that wrote the majority of the New Testament, Paul, he, this guy, he says in one, of his, in one of his books, he says, I'm the chief of sinners. Basically saying, I'm the worst of the worst. Yeah. And he was the worst of the worst. He like killed Christians. Yeah. <laughs> but then even in that moment when he was writing that letter, he was even saying himself, he goes, man, I struggle I do what I don't want to do, and I don't do what I want to do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Right. <laughs> but Paul's saying that, like, look, I struggle constantly. I'm a sinner. I'm horrible. Yeah. And that was the mindset he had. But he said, you know what? I, but I know I'm horrible. I know I'm weak. I know I can't do it. And that's the reason why I rely on God to do it. That is what Paul realized, and he realized that especially in Second Corinthians where he was struggling constantly. And he's like, God, help me. And God says, no, no, no. I want you to understand my grace is sufficient for you. He's like, in your, in your weakness, I'm strong. Yep. You have power when you choose to realize your weakness. Mm -hmm. Too often our world tells us that we shouldn't be weak. Too often we stay, they say, no, no, you're right where you're at. Your, your feelings, no, no, those aren't wrong. Those are, those are good. <laughs> No, 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 you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't like deny them. You should embrace them no matter how evil they may sound. But Paul is saying, no, 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 those are bad. Yeah. And I am bad. And I'm going to rely on Christ to help me through that. Mm -hmm. And we as Christians have to be the first ones to say, you know, I need God more every day. That's right. I need his strength every single day. That's the only time you will find power to do God's work mm -hmm. is when you realize your need for Christ more and more every day. So the question is, is have you surrendered to God? What do I mean by that? 
So to surrender to something means you have to prove <laughs> that that something is, is bigger than you are. That you have to you have to wave the white flag. That you have to give up, put your hands up, and say, "I can't do this." Yeah. You need to. You will overpower me. <laughs> I surrender. Yeah. Right. And in our weakness, right, we're actually the strongest. In your weakness is when you have the most access to the power that we're talking about. Yeah. In your weakness, when you surrender to Christ and you give everything to Him, that's when you become the most powerful. And in our world, everything is backwards. Right. In, in our culture, everything is backwards from from God's culture. Right, for you to gain influence and gain this and gain that and gain, uh, gain credit or street credit or whatever you want to call it, you have to presume yourself to be this powerful being and step on anyone you have to to get to the top. Jesus is saying to surrender to me requires weakness and humility to walk to me. And guess what? He's gonna take that. And he's gonna make us powerful. There's so many things that I encounter every day in my life that I am not equipped for that I cannot fight on my own and somehow I get through it and it's not because I'm strong it's because I'm dependent on the power of God you and I have to depend on the power of God oh hold on sorry many of us think that we can't live as Christians it's too hard but God makes it clear that he doesn't intend for us to do it alone he desires you to rely on his spirit that will give you the power to live a life for him it's not about trying to do it on your own. It's not about looking at Pastor Nick and Pastor Alex and say, oh, I can never live that way. Guess what? <laughs> There's some days that I don't think I can do it anymore. There's some days that I just want to throw in the towel and give up. But I go to the Father, and He gives me the power that I need to make it through the day. That's right. And He gives me the power that I need to make it, to have this life that I could have never dreamed of. Yeah. And it's through Him. It's not through me. It's through the power of Christ. Guys, we love you. Thank you so much for being with us. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, this last Friday, we had a real night. It was an incredible event. So many cool things happened. We gave things away. It was, it was so good. Uh, make sure if you missed it, you can go back on the channel. You can watch it, all that stuff. We love you guys. Have a great week.